Welcome to Company Showcase, an advertising feature on HowStreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. I'm speaking with Larry Ray, CEO and President of American Manganese. Welcome back to Company Showcase. Thank you, Jim. Larry, a couple of news releases from your office this week. Was the news as hot as the weather? Yeah, the uh, I think the releases were fantastic. Uh, they were kind of back to back, which is not the way we like to do it. But the uh, this is the way we received it, so this is the way we put it out. And uh, our first release was the uh, the uh, let's see, the uh, June the thirtieth, June the twenty ninth, and that was the uh, release on the NMC five three two cathode precursor and from recycled NMC cathode waste. Well, what that's telling you is that uh, older chemistries out there, we can treat and turn them into the newer chemistries. Simple as that. And, uh, you know, we have a process that is, uh, goes directly from cathode to cathode, uh, which includes now the uh, morphology of the size of the particles, and this uh, bypasses a lot of steps that have to be done from uh, a miner or anybody else producing uh, uh, the uh, cathode materials. Uh, they have to; it has to go to a chemical treatment, uh, which is a, uh, a uh, cathode supplier, and uh, all this stuff costs money. And, of course, the big markup goes to the cathode supplier. So uh, we can uh, we can actually set up on a site, do everything that a cathode supplier and uh, any recycling that's out there and get these high, you know, close to 100% uh, purities and uh, recoveries. And uh, so it's, uh, it's a breakthrough uh, as far as we're concerned. And uh, it's, you know, basically puts us uh, as a pioneering company out there, uh, as far as I can see, in the lead. Although I do read uh, other press releases that sound like uh, they're pretty much copying what we're saying and saying they can do the same thing. But uh, I can tell you it's not that simple. It's, uh, it's a lot of back-breaking uh, work, R&D, and expensive work. And um, so, in order to get to the uh, to the uh, actual end product, um, it can be a very treacherous path and also a very expensive path for most of uh, most of the uh, well, the miners for sure. I mean, they're going to get uh, they're going to get the you know the uh, quoted price on the LME, and uh, then they've got to pay for the uh, they've got to pay for the uh, treatment. And uh, that's usually done in China, by the way. So, uh, you know, it's a vicious circle that China has set up. And, uh, you know, they've, they've got everything coming to them. And uh, it, what we can do is we can bypass all that. So that's a big feather in our cap. Now, the second release on the 30th was the... Uh, the uh, allowance of the Japanese patent. And I have to say, you know, the... Uh, Japanese are probably one of the more stringent uh, countries to try and get a patent through. And uh, for us to get this on the heels of the Korean patent, uh, you know, we're in, we're in uh, battery manufacturing territory. So uh, that's another excellent situation. I mean, uh, you can read everybody else's releases. They talk about patent pending. They talk about having patents, although you can't find them. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's just a game of, uh, you know, trying to knock down the, uh, the guys that are actually showing what they can do. And, uh, you know, that's us. I mean, we, uh, we're very transparent. I get questions like, uh, you know, what does uh, Kometco own in the, in the uh, patents? What do they do this? What do they do that? Uh, Kometco has hundreds of clients. Uh, we're not the only client that they have, and they've got lots in the mining business. They do a lot of work on uh, solving problems for uh, concentrators out in the mining, and uh, 
you know, and they, they're doing that same work for us, but that doesn't mean that they own anything in the concentrator. They're a paid contractor, and uh, we're lucky to have the A team working on our, our project. It's, uh, you know, it's, uh, what can I say? Uh, you know, it's all arm's length, everything's transparent, and yet people come back with a question of uh, what does Cometco own? Well, I can imagine where those things evolve from. If you look at the market today, you'll see that uh, they're trying to force us down and uh, on the back of two excellent press releases. And, you know, that's our predators. They're out there to make themselves money and to take it out of your pocket. Just remember that. That's all I'm going to say about them. They, uh, they come up with, well, I'm going to say one more line. And that is that they hire guys out there to go on the uh, on the boards and uh, bash the company, and uh, most of them don't have any any uh, background in what the company does. They just bash it. That's as simple as that. So uh, I'm hoping that uh, most of our uh, investors have, have been following everything I've had to say about them. The uh, downtick today, it's not closed yet, so I don't know exactly how we're going to close the market, but uh, the downtick today is typical. The volumes are way up, uh, you know, between uh, two national holidays. Uh, you'd expect volumes to be low, and uh, and the prices have uh, been knocked down. And, uh, you know, that's a arbitrage between the U.S. and uh, the Canadian markets, uh, very little change of ownership as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you know, that's my opinion, that uh, a lot of this stuff has no change of ownership. If it does, it's only for 24 hours or 48 hours, and then it goes back to the original guy. And uh, But usually they'll down-tick it that way. And, uh, you know, they've got a, uh, <clears throat> they've got a setup uh, where it automatically happens. And, uh, you know, they can uh, leave the board and uh, get ready for the long weekend. And uh, that's if you're U.S. We've had our uh, holiday yesterday. And uh, so it's, you know, it's all I can say, guys, is, uh, you know, when you put out two excellent releases and you see the market going down, I don't have to paint a picture of predators for you. It's certainly not shareholders that wait till 11 o'clock in the morning to start knocking the stock down. These are, it's not uh, investors, I should say. These are predators. And, uh, you know, and it, it does tick me off. I mean, uh, it's been going on for a long time, naked shorting since the 90s, and then uh, getting rid of the uptick rule in Canada, uh, you know, been well, actually, they uh, they proposed it in 2011, and the stock fell over a cliff. So uh, and they finally imposed it in 2012, and it doesn't look like they're uh, going to do anything about uh, reinstating an uptick rule to protect investors. It's just not in the books, not as far as I can see. So uh, all I can say, guys, is, uh, you know, this is... Uh, been a, uh, a great week for us. Uh, you know, two bridges crossed. Uh, we have uh, with the Japanese government and uh, the uh, results from uh, taking older chemistries and turning them into new chemistries without any uh, without any change in uh, in the uh, cathode structure. So. Uh, no, there is a change in the cathode structure, I should say, but uh, it's a positive change. It's changed from a older chemistry to a newer chemistry, and uh, that we have capabilities of doing. So it's uh, it's you know basically uh, you know it's been a, long, a holiday yesterday, so uh, it's all I can talk about is the press releases and the stuff that's coming through. I get. Uh, I get all kinds of, uh, you know, basically all kinds of uh, new technologies that are emerging here by the bundleful. Some of them I see are just rerun technologies that uh, they've talked about two years ago. And, uh, you know, they're just uh, they're trying to catch the wave. And uh, I don't blame them. I mean, what the heck. Uh, but the uh, point is, if you want to have, do your due diligence, go to our site, 
and uh, and see that we've been transparent. Uh, the, our ownership is a hundred percent, and um, you know, and we've got uh, we've got a fantastic team of geniuses at uh, the A team at Cometco working on this project. So, uh, what more can I say except uh, have a for the U.S. investors have a very good uh, holiday. And uh, we'll see you again on Tuesday. Larry, for people new to American Manganese, what's the company all about? American Manganese is a critical metals company and a pioneer in uh, in the uh, recovery of uh, of uh, low grade materials and manganese. A pioneer in the uh, in the uh, development of a recycling program that uh, works it's uh, you know that really has uh, put us on the map and um, I think you're going to see greater things for us in the future now uh, we are we have a website out there where you can do your due diligence at AmericanManganeseInc.com. we're traded on the Toronto Venture Exchange under the symbol AMY we're traded on the QB exchange under the symbol AMYZF in the U.S. And we're traded in Frankfurt under the symbol 2AM. If you want to talk to anybody here in the office, you can phone 778-574-4444. Or you can uh, send me an email at L-R-E-A-U-G-H at AMYMN.com. Larry, thank you so much for the update. You're welcome. I've been speaking with Larry Ray, CEO and President of American Manganese. I'm Jim Goddard. Our conversation took place on July 2nd. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at HowStreet.com. Company Showcase is a production of How Street Media Incorporated.